small hand gimbals are great. They not only stabilize the camera, but are also very portable and lightweight, which allows unique shots to be made very quick and easy. And with smartphones getting better at video every day, we can't deny that such cameras are getting pretty good. So that's why we're taking a look at the UO Play, a 3-axis hand gimbal. Hey folks and welcome to another video. My name is Jordi. Let's first have a look at the UO Play and then see how we can do some creative shots with it. It's a very simple device with a lot of functionality and that's designed for smartphones or other tiny cameras like a GoPro. In the box you will find a very clear instruction manual in 10 different languages. So that's a big plus to start with. Additionally, it comes with a sturdy case and a remote control which is very nice and later in the video you'll also see why that is. To start using the gimbal, you must first lock your device in place. I'm using the iPhone. Never power the gimbal on without your device in it. It could harm the motors. To power it on though, you just hold down the power button and that will bring it into standby modus. Tap one more time on that power button and it will put the gimbal into action. Now you can choose between three different modes by double tapping on the record button. It can either follow your panning but keep tilting in place. It can both follow your panning and tilting or completely lock the position of your phone, no matter what movement you do. So you can either choose to push the camera into turning or use the joystick. The UO Play also has Bluetooth to which you can connect your smartphone to. You can then press to record with the button on the hand grip or use the additional remote control. And that's pretty much it. There's a bunch of other stuff in the instruction manual to upgrade the firmware, calibrate the system, etc. For us as filmmakers, it's more of a toy, so I won't be going too much in all of the details. Build quality is great, it does what it needs to do, and furthermore, I just love to play with it. So let's get into some creative shots and see what amazing things we can do with this. First of all, we can run around with this thing and follow a subject. I've set the gimbal to semi-following mode so that it will only pan with my movement and keep the tilt straight. Since we're using a phone, we can even do a video selfie. And if you are making a video for Facebook, you can put the gimbal into vertical mode by triple tapping on the record button. It's a great feature, but be aware for which platform you make your video for. It's not pleasant for viewers if they need to watch vertical video on a widescreen device. A lot of Facebook users scroll horizontal on their phone, so there it would make sense. Now even though the gimbal stabilizes the camera, it doesn't absorb up and down movement. So be very conscious about this when walking with the gimbal. Try to keep your height and loosen your arms a bit. Next are subtle movements. You don't always have to follow your subject. Try to find some nice foreground objects and do a gentle movement like you're on a slider. You can move to the sides or do a push in or out. It adds some more of that wonderful depth to your shot. Perhaps you can put the gimbal into fully following mode so you have full control over panning and tilting by just twisting the gimbal. For the next creative shot, we're going to make some real good use of the small hand gimbal. Get on your bike and follow something faster, like another bike. Remember that you are always moving, so don't move around with your arm. What you can do is, however, change in height. It's pretty cool to go close to the ground while filming your actress or even film your own wheels. Usually this would require many clamps and tubes to set up a bigger camera. So as you can see, it's a perfect device if you want to do vlogs. You can really make some artistic shots with this thing and just in general keep your footage more stable. But what about us, filmmakers? Well, this last trick will completely overkill the use of the smartphone. The UO Play has a quarter inch screw hole at the bottom, so that means we can mount this to basically anything. You can put it on a tripod, but more interesting, on a slider. It might seem foolish, but it will allow you to work very fast as the gimbal will keep the horizon straight while you move up and down. Or you can also use the controller to add different movements to the gimbal while sliding. But even more awesome than a slider is to use a jib. Attach the UO Play on there and use the remote to pan and tilt while you're doing those crazy jib movements. Make sure that the gimbal is set to lock mode so you can have full control over panning and tilting with the remote. The gimbal will keep the position of the camera in place while you are not using the remote. Now you have a professional motion controlled crane that allows for some interesting shots. And if you're really tight on budget, then attach the gimbal to a broom and bang you've got yourself a motion controlled crane. The gimbal will do the stabilizing for you. 
Now more information about this product in the description below or you can also just smash that card up there in the corner. Even though I'm joking a bit about the last part with the broomstick, I do motivate young filmmakers to be creative in every possible way. And whether it's this hand gimbal or another one, I do believe it could be one of your best purchases if you're starting out. It allows you to experiment with endless of possible movements, even if that means attaching it to a broom. Just remember, always stay creative.